Oh no. Oh no, it's big. It's big. Oh no, don't snap me off, don't snap me off. No, no. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going, finally going after the elusive bluegill. I got my buddy Tim, He's Tim's on the, oh here's Tim. Morning. Morning. We are going after the elusive bluegill with the long rods. Finally, it is getting to late ice. They are turning on. Pretty much all fish are turning on right now. The water is getting really warmed up. And they're they're pretty good size. We came out yesterday to make sure we could actually catch some fish out here for a video. And uh, and yeah, they're here. So we're each going to be using a long rod. We're in about four feet of water. Very weedy. So we're going to see what happens. Very, very windy. So hopefully that doesn't affect the video too much. But I'll try to keep the wind to a minimal somehow. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below. Both of our in Instagrams will be linked down below. Tim, where'd you go? I'm over here. There you are. Morning. Morning. What's your predictions for today? Slaughter fest, man. Slaughter fest. Tim says slaughter fest, so we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Strap the GoPro on and see what happens. Okay. Hopefully the wind's not too bad for you guys. I got a tungsten fly with one red spike. Gonna drop her down there. I got the Vexlar in the water, and I'm using the the good old Fish Boys Customs long rod. This is actually the spinning long rod. This is the exact rod that I'm giving away. At 500 subscribers, I have two of them that are ready to be given away. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button for a chance to win these awesome rods. So now we're in just under four feet of water they're just doing a very very light jig yesterday when tim and myself came out here they liked it they liked a continuous jig they really never ate it if you stopped it so you're just going to do a con very light jig and we got a couple of smaller crappies yesterday even and tim tim even lost three northern yesterday somehow because he was using the actual I read the actual long rod from Fish Boys Customs. And there's not an actual reel on there, so it's kind of hard to, to do very quickly if you get a northern on or something big. <clears throat> this late ice, the ice is going very fast. It is very windy. Hopefully you guys can even hear me. I'm really hoping so. And we got about, I don't know, we got about five or six inches of ice left maybe it's going very quickly i'm wearing waders and my ice armor jacket we needed to hop in the water to get out here because the shoreline is just absolutely toast oh i'm marking one come on eat it eat it eat it get up here and eat it Come up here and eat it right now. Get up here and eat it for the camera, right now. He's just sitting right below it. Darn, okay, well, I got the GoPro on my chest. We're just gonna keep hole hopping until you find a good hole and then you catch two or three and then you keep on hole hopping. So we're gonna continue the hole hopping and uh, Turn it back on once we get a fish, hopefully. Very little one. Oh, he came off already. Very, very little one. Come on, just go back in the hole. There you go. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes, I'm gonna slip and bust my butt. Now I missed him two times in a row. Go 
decent, decent, decent. Oh, decent one. Oh, oh, come on. There we go. It's a decent bluegill. It's a keeper. We'll take him. Tim's got a nice one. Oh, very nice one. There you go, Tim. Tim's first bluegill. <laughs> Counting with Caleb. That's a nice one. Well, I didn't get the camera on a time, but caught a nice little perch. Too small to keep, obviously, but a little perch. See you later, little guy. And there we go. Oh, railing. Oh, God. What is this? What is this? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's big. It's big. Oh, no. Don't snap me off. Don't snap me off. No. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Tim, it's big. Tim. Tim. Tim, it's big. Tim, it's big. It's big, folks. Oh, my gosh. I was recording, too. That was great. Oh, my gosh. It's big. Oh, my gosh. Now I loosen my drag too much. Can't reel. Oh, is it a bass? Yeah. Oh, look at that bass. He's got spots. Oh, look at the bass. He came in and frickin' smoked it. Holy smokes. Well, there we go. Nice little, nice little bass. Probably about a what? I don't know, 13, 14 incher? Yeah, Something around there. He smoked a tungsten fly. Bam. Got some cool spots on him. Never seen those spots before. Oh, well, see another little guy. Well, that was exciting. On. Get up here and bite it. Oh, here he comes. Oh, that's happening. Oh my gosh, dude. Did you get a nice one? Oh, Tim got a nice one. Hold, that up to the camera. Hold it up to the camera, Tim. Make it look nice and big because it's only five inches long and you know it. That's not five inches. No, that's a nice one. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Decent bluegill. First decent one in the morning. I've now missed two. Cause I suck. Cause I suck at fishing. Oh, there. Oh, come on. The only time I don't have the camera recording so far, I get an actual decent one. Yeah. And there's another one down there. Oh, look at that. Popped right out. Perfect. They're not huge bluegills, but they're nice bluegills. They're good eating size, I should say. Oh, this one wants it. Oh my gosh. Oh, no wonder. Just a little guy. Came flying up for it. Came flying up for it. Just a little, just a little sucker. Just want to give you a little update here. We have, I don't know, eight or nine. No, nine or ten, I think. They've really slowed down. This is not the best weather. It'd be nice if it was sunny and uh, not extremely windy. Hopefully, you guys can hear me good on the on here, on the big camera and on the uh, GoPro. But it's blowing like 25 or 30 with gusts even higher. It's absolutely crazy. Not the best weather to long rod in, but we're making the best of it. We're making it work. Tim, Tim just caught a small one, but uh, yeah, it's just nice to be out. So stick with the GoPro and uh, see what happens. Hopefully we can get a few more. Oh yeah, this one wants it. Oh, it's a bigger mark, it's a bigger mark. Come on. Why are you not eating? Get up here and eat. No. Why'd you so swim away? He's spinning around. He's sizing it up. He's swimming away. There he is. Oh, no. This is not the one. That was a different mark. Probably. That was a different mark. That is a freaking little guy. Well, just a little guy. There you go, buddy. Go back down into the water. My spike is getting torn to shreds, but I'm just going to thread it back on there. Just like that. Hopefully you guys can see that. I got one spike. It was red, but now it's kind of turning pinkish white. But it still works pretty good. Okay, well... Uh, yeah, made it back to the launch. Was not out there for a very long time. Tim's coming to say hi. 
Come over, Tim. Howdy. How was it? It was kind of, kind of sucked. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty bad. The winds are blowing like at least 20 to 30 with gusts even more than that. Tim didn't have cleats and he was almost getting blown across the ice. The ice is really jaggedy. If it was smooth ice, Tim would have probably got blown across the lake. So rest in peace, Tim. But luckily he didn't. We still have Tim here. We ended up with 10, 10 keepers. We weren't out there for very long, but we kind of were out there for long at the same time. We noticed that there was a lot of game fish swimming around. I caught that bass almost right away. And we kept having some huge marks come through. I know there's a lot of northern in here. So there's probably a lot of northern bass swimming around. I lost three yesterday. Tim lost three northern yesterday. Lost three of my tungsten jigs. I lost two. Well, well same thing. And uh, we think they were chasing the bluegills around a lot. Because yesterday we really dialed the certain holes where there were a lot of bluegills but there was just they were not really there today and the weather did not help I like but a lot better when it's nice and warm actually and uh, bright and sunny less wind it would have been dialed today but long rods fish boys customs amazing rods giving away two of them at 500 subscribers don't forget about it with the tungsten fly always a panfish killer always so if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button down below both of our Instagrams are down below. Go give us a follow and go check out Fish Boys Custom Rods. Left the link down below. So we're going to keep moving on. Go film another video. So stay tuned for the next one.